What's going on guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to World War Armies. Sorry for the breaking content. We were out of town, but now we're back to daily World War Army videos. If you guys see another game similar to this and you want to show it on the channel, be sure to let me know and we'll definitely check it out. All right, so we got the Germans against the Germans. He's got Bulk Squad, Engineer, Jaeger Squad, and Mortar Unit, Flamethrower, Puma, BZ-4, and the Panther. His Volk Squad shouldn't be too big of an issue for our Jaeger Squad. Our Jaeger Squads are going to be slightly higher level than him. If you guys notice, we are playing on a brand new map. So let's go ahead and grab up a Jaeger unit, and send it out towards this crate here. And Charlie looks like it's really far away, so I don't even know if it's worth sending an extra unit out there. Let's just send an Engineer and see what happens. It looks like it's about equal distance from him at least, but that seems like really far out there. But Charlie, I mean, we got to go over there eventually anyway, so may as well get over there while we can. And you guys are going to come back around over here, capture up this objective post. Then he's going to be moving over here to the right. So our opponent did run over directly towards the zones here. So we are going to have to deal with that. Let's grab the air unit, send him out this way. Let's just speed everybody up real quick. I think that's going to help us out a little bit in the long run. Engineering squad, let's move you guys across here. Jaeger squads are going to be a little bit late. Engineers are going to be making it its way in time. He's got mortar unit all the way in the very back here. His Volk squad's not going to be able to push us out, so they're going to die. Let's see here, we got engineering squads doing a number on his Volk squad down here. They're actually doing a decent job of protecting themselves. Good job, men. Engineering squads are still slowly capturing the stuff down here. His mortar units are going to be able to have a little bit of an advantage against the rest of our deals here. Engineering squad has managed to capture two objective posts. Let's move over to the third one here. We got 166 points, so not just quite enough points just yet. Jaeger squad, let's get you guys over inside the zone. Give us a little bit of a speed boost. See if we can get a little bit extra back of around here. We are going to be leaving Charlie completely open to capture though, but as soon as our engineering team captures the next objective post, they'll fall back some. 245, so we got enough to slap down an objective tower here. Check in our guy on here. Jaeger squad's taking a massive damage, so he's going to have to retreat away. We got another Jaeger squad moving up from the rear. If we're able to get them over on this side quick enough. Engineering squad, you guys are also going to have to run. See here, that is finally captured. Head over here to Charlie. I mean, these first couple points aren't exactly the most important anyways, since they're only worth 100 points. The next set's going to be worth 500, which is going to be much more useful to us anyways in the long run. All right, so let's stop down the fist ability. We still need to have one more tower captured. Gear squad, let's get you exactly on top of that objective post there just to push them out some. Bravo's captured. We do need to have one more tower up and running. Flamethrower squad's going to be able to get inside the area here. So Jaeger squad, you guys move over to that zone. Charlie is now captured. Engineering squad's going to be falling back over to the next house. Check back around over here on this side. Looks like we did manage to push them outside the zone here, so we don't have to worry about that. Flamethrower squad, you guys get inside this house. Engineering squad's going to be hanging out around here. Take on the mortar unit. Flamethrower squad, turn and burn. Looks like he's going to be focusing on capturing Charlie. Engineering squad is just way too weak, so we're going to have to fall back on that. We're going to work towards our third objective tower. That'll clear out the best for us. So we'll get you up and running. 347, so let's slap this down. We don't actually have too many posts yet. He's got a PZ. Or it's just a PZAG, so that's not too bad. Gear squad, get over inside the zone here. Activate our fist ability. Engineering squad, you guys are going to be severely outgunned. Flamethrower squad should be able to do a number on them, though. Gear unit, let's fall back some, capture this. I think Jaeger squad, we're going to need to fall you over inside that zone. Engineering squad's also healed up, so we'll send both of you guys out that way. Flamethrower squad, you guys, let's stick you over towards Alpha. Stick you over to here. We get more points. More points makes it easier to do everything. All right, so now we're getting into the phase two part of the game. Jaeger squad's going to be taking a little bit of extra damage here. If we can hold them back some. Let's feed. Flamethrower squad, turn around. We need to keep them away from Alpha. We secure Alpha, we'll at least be able to start getting a couple points here and get a little bit of a lead. Jaeger 2, you guys are going to be the ones that are slightly higher level, so we're going to burn them outside the zones here. Let's grab Machine Gun Squad, send them out this way. You know Head over here towards Charlie. Grab you. We got this Jaeger Squad over here. Both of you guys are going out that way. He's called in another tank. Flamethrower Squad's going to be taking a little bit of damage. Oh, that's just the Puma. See your engineering squad, you guys fall back. We are on duty. Flamethrower squad, you guys take on that. See here, we gotta watch our Jaeger's health. <sighs> Keep him inside the post house, we're gonna lose that. Alright, so you retreat back to the base. Flamethrower squad, you guys fall back around here. 
Charlie's under conflict right now. Jaeger squads are doing what they can. Machine gun units going to get around here to give them some support. Activator strength ability here. Engineering squad get inside the building. Let's see here, Bravo is contested right now. So let's grab the flamethrower squad. Send them out this way. We're pushed up a little bit too high. I don't think we have any other objectives that can start attacking them just quite yet. Bazooka unit, Jaeger units, everybody is on standby waiting for us. All right, engineering team, you guys move out towards this building here. We got all of our towers up and running. We could start slapping down some pillboxes. I think we'll put it inside this area just in case we need it. Machine gun units, we're going to pull you out over towards Alpha. Engineering squad, we need to get you a little bit of backup, so let's send you out this way. He's called in the big guns. We do not give in. Wait for it. We don't have 10 points. All right, you guys are just going to have to wait a second. My Thor squad, get on top of this mortar unit. Jaeger squad, you guys have some backup. Beat that. Wipe them out. My Thor is dead. Jaeger units are taking on the that machine gun unit. Should be able to push these guys out. Probably has now been neutralized. Alpha is going to be neutralized here in a second. You machine gun unit, turn around. We are on duty. All right, so Jaeger units, you guys get inside this position. Slap down a pillbox. We need to secure the zone. All right, so that pillbox is being built. Jaeger squad. Position taken. Call you back. We got an engineer over inside this zone, so you guys are going to hop outside the building over to this pillbox. We secure the areas, we heal our guys up, we'll be fine. Jaeger squad's still down here, a little bit damaged, but we don't want to necessarily make ourselves too weak around here. So we do have another flag around here. It's just the Volk squad. We should be able to push up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grab this 500 points. Squad inside. Get that up and running. Pillbox is good to go. Let's upgrade you into the next tier. Engineering squad, you get back over inside this building here. He has an entire blob of soldiers down here. Squad. And Thor's squad is now ready to move out. Machine gun units, you guys just need to retreat away. We got two objective posts. I feel like as long as we hold two, we should be good to go. You retreat away. You retreat away, because I don't know where he's going with this. Slam down another pillbox over inside this zone. Grab one more flamethrower squad, send him out towards that. Yeah. So our tank we're going to keep over here in the middle. We know he likes using Puma, so we're going to wait for that. Slam down one more pillbox over inside this zone here. That pillbox should be able to split the difference. So let's upgrade you into anti-troop. So another one's going to be built here in a second. We got a decently strength pillbox, so that should be able to push out that flamethrower squad. I don't think they're going to be able to capture, probably now that we have that fully locked down. Bravo is going to have some support here in a second. Jaeger squad, let's move you guys out over inside the other side. And now we have neutralized the match. Infantry unit ready for all right, flamethrower squad, turn around. We can't have everybody all inside one area. Jaeger squad, you guys have done good. Fall back inside the zone here. He's been fighting these flamethrower squads. Pillbox, let's upgrade you into anti-troop. I haven't seen him use any actual tanks just quite yet besides the Puma. So we're going to wait on that. Say that, and there's a Pizag. Pizag, move out. All right, so get over inside that area. Flamethrower squad, you guys can't really do too much against the tank. Engineering team, get on this pillbox. Infantry unit ready for action. Flamethrower squad, a little bit too late. Follow me. Right plan, a little bit too late. All right, your unit, move out this way. Pizag, move out this way. We got us a couple of other troops inside of the home base. Let's get you guys spread out a little bit. See what happens here. Gear two. Let's get you inside this building. Flamethrower squad. Stay around over inside this area. We got several different engineers. So let's get our frontal engineer over here on this pillbox. Get some repairs going on. Flamethrower is going to sneak around over here. Engineer should be good to go. Charlie, we know for a fact he's got a tank over inside this area. Now, if he retreated the tank away, we're not entirely sure about that yet. But we're going to have a little bit of a look. It's level three. He's got his units here. We got our tank here. Inside the building. We got enough to get to the tier three. That's going to give us a lot more troop capacity. Engineers are working on the pillbox, trying to secure everything as quickly as possible here. You're going to top outside the building. Engineers are keeping up that pillbox alive. Nice and strong. Bravo remains ours. Charlie is also staying ours. Get your squad get inside that building. And pillbox, let's upgrade you into wait. Going to throw a squad, get you across the map. Engineering squad, let's get you back inside this building. We want to make sure you're nice and protected. Another resource crate has now been dropped. Jaeger squad, pop out. Attack the Puma. Squad inside. Zag attacked the Puma. So we got one regular pillbox. He's got a couple ground troops that are coming out this way. Engineering squad should be able to get on some repairs here. Jaeger squad, fall back. We got a pillbox down here. No point in risking your life. This bulk squad is going to be running away with us. 
Let's see here. Let's just send you all the way back to the base here. We got a tank. We got a pillbox. We can push them out. Your pillbox is going to be able to kill them before they fully neutralize the post, but they should be able to at least. He's got another mortar unit though, so he's just pulling out troops all sorts of places here. Engineering squad, he's just going to stand on this post here. The pillbox is going to do majority of the damage, but we wanted to make sure that that post remained ours while that was happening. Let door squad, pop outside the building and show him who's boss. Now you know what? Stick back inside the building. And ready for orders. Back inside the building for you. Jaeger 2, pop you out. Jaeger 1, move out inbound. We still got an engineering squad over inside this area here. So he's focusing very heavily on the ground troops and he doesn't have much tanks, which is why we're not necessarily using a martyr just quite yet. This pillbox down here, we're just going to upgrade you for that. Wes, pull you out. Engineering squad, you guys are going to need to move over inside this territory here. Let's get some full speed action going on here. Position taken. We can manage to kill all the main troops here. This pillbox should be able to neutralize it enough to where we can capture Charlie, even though. <laughs> How did he lose Bravo? Take on this mortar unit. See here, Wesp, get you over inside the area. Any area. Let's see here, engineering squad, you guys pop outside of that. Machine gun units are going to give you guys a little bit of backup as well. So you, there, boom, boom. Wesp, let's get you over inside. Ooh. That's going to be a little bit different. So your PZAC should be able to take on the Puma. Machine gun's going to turn around, attack the Volk squad. He's going to be sending in a whole bunch of ground troops down here. We got our pillbox set up for ground troops. So that's good to go. We had a Wesp also inside the area here. Jaeger squad, let's push off him towards Alpha. He's not able to keep us outside the zones. So I think that means we are able to move up inside of a stronger territory here. Let's activate our strength boost here. Jaeger squads are going to be burned right now. Freeway men. Infantry unit. Too valuable to lose. All right, so we got that guy gone. Pizag against Pizag. Which we can always call in bazooki units as well if we wanted to. Flamethrower against flamethrower. Our flamethrowers are slightly higher. Our wasp is going to sneak inside the area though. If he focuses on the flamethrower unit, that should give us time to wipe out everybody inside the area here. Flamethrower squad's going to be taking in massive damage from that though. Let's feed them. No, no, no. Full retreat. So your Jaeger 3, you guys go against the P-Zag. Little P-Zag's going against P-Zag as well. Charlie has a new contender. Machine gun unit, looks like these guys are attempting to keep us locked in and secured. Alpha, he's destroyed. We can push for the third objective post. All right, Jaeger squad, you guys move out this way. West move out. P-Zag, you guys move over inside of more neutral territory here. Machine gun unit, there's no point in you taking in this much damage. If he wants to fight, bring him inside of our area. Stick him inside that house. Alpha's going to be locked down. He's got a whole bunch of mortar units. Like I said, he's been focusing heavily on tanks and less about ground troops. You have to have ground, or you have to have tanks and ground troops in order to win some of these matches. Let's see here, so we move these guys around here. I see you sneaking around. Alpha is going to be neutralized here in a second. We got this dude down here that we need to worry about though. Wesp, get inside the zone. Lenthor squad's moving its way around here. Wesps, see if we can get you inside of a better territory. He's slapping down pillboxes. He's attempting to wipe us out. So he didn't manage to sneak over there before we were able to get there in time. So we are going to be down 700 points. That pillbox is being built though. Slap that down, destroy that. Wesp, you guys go for them. Your squad, you guys retreat away. Pizag, you're doing good. He's got a mortar over there hiding out in the background there. Machine gun unit, once again, we need to fall you back to the base. Keep you up and alive and we'll be good to go. It is 1845, so we got plenty of points in order to get in two or three tanks, but we are slot capped at the moment, 13 out of 15. So we can do a whole bunch of these like lower level troops, but that's not going to be the best strategy for us. So we're just going to hoard up and sort of see what happens here. Flamethrower squad's finally managed to make it over inside the area here, so we'll slap that down around here. Other flamethrower squad, you guys move out. He's going to be pushing heavy inside of this area, so let's use our big boom. Let's see if he wants to fight inside of our territory. And ready for orders. All right, slap down a tower here. West, we should be able to wipe out this engineer. He did notice that his towers weren't actually being built. I don't know if it's been like that the entire time or not, but you definitely want to be sure to stay on top of that. Sometimes you get super intense in these matches, you'll forget about the towers. That's where you end up starting to take a whole bunch of unnecessary losses inside of your matches. All right, so we should be able to wipe out the Puma. 
it is now going to be a little bit of confrontation over here in the front, but I think for the most part, we wiped out the majority of his army there. Considering the fact that we have most of the towers already ours, I don't think he has too much points in order to call in tanks, which is why he's focusing so much on ground troops. So that might explain some of the strategy used in this battle. It was definitely close there at the beginning of the match, though. I do really like this map. It's completely different than some of the other maps. I like how far Charlie is away from the other objective posts to where Bravo and Alpha sort of seem like they're given to each different player's side and Charlie is just way out there. But that is going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, we're going to be back to daily Road War Army content. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to let me know any other games similar to this.